Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to The Beast Named Eliza. A RPG Maker horror game about a girl lost in a forest. My head. Uh, where am I? Uh, a forest? How did I get here? Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Can anyone help me? That's an owl saying no. Ooh, no. Ooh, call a cab. Dashing disabled. Missing. Eliza, last seen in her house. If more information, speak to Nicola. If found, reward 300 bends. This paper is old and falling apart. It's been here for a long time. Magic sparkling stone. It's kind of weird seeing an RPG maker game and widescreen. Mr. Rude Wolf. Hello? Is someone there? <coughs> Hi, frog. I'll just navigate this conveniently windy path. Mm. Can't see. Don't phase out. Okay, did. No, we're fine. I must be tired. There's Mr. Crow. There is a Tim Burton character. Wait, don't go. Hello, I'm Johnny Depp. See you later. Where did he go? I'm Johnny Depp and now I'm playing the tree. That's what you can't see me. Missing. Eliza. A found reward of 900 bends. The paper looks newer. Kept increasing the reward. I have to get away from here. No one's here. Where did they go? Save game? Yeah, sure. They went home? Nope. A broken fence. Hello? Anybody? I'm stuck in an RPG maker horror game. I need help. There's weird atmospheric noises going on. Hello, is anyone in here? Please help me. There's a monster outside. Please let me in. I don't want to be eaten. Hello? Please help me. There's a monster outside. Please. Um, guys. Hello? Fake. Damn villagers. Stupid to do. Nope. I can pass through here. Pick up a heart. I need to find a way out of here. No one cares about your whims, villagers. Go back to farming. You plebs. Hey, squirrel. Hi. Box of carrots, a box of apples. There's nothing inside. Oh, that guy was fast. It's like, what the hell is that? Empty. You shall not pass. It's only firewood. Locked. 
It's open. Where can I go? In the back window. I'm time to cook. I can get out for this window. They're getting closer. Oh god! Ow! It's locked. Hoppity hop. Grab the health, let's go. Go away! It's open. Where do I go next? Um, there's a sh in here? The one's outside. Ah. Let's go. We're out, we're out. There was one guy waiting out there, but he, he, he failed spectacularly. Why did they attack me? I didn't do anything. I... I just want to go home. No, 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 no. I... I can't go back. That's an angry mob. Dashing disabled. Thanks. Oh! There's an actual wolf! Squirrel, you're not a wolf in disguise, are you? Okay. Is that a snake? Will that bite me? Ow! Ow! Ow, I'm dying from poison. Ow! I don't feel too well. Poison killed you! <laughs> oh god. Watch out for snake bites. That's the real danger. Not pitchforks and fire, it's your nature. Die from snake bites or dysentery. Yeah, with the snake. It's got a delicious snack for us. That's poisonous. Technically venomous, actually. Can I cut through here? Is this a path? No. So. I think the wolf's gonna come out and bite us. No, no I'm, I'm a little surprised. He didn't. Wolves. They're 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 pop up wolves. Oh no 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 no! My head. I I remember. I'm Eliza. How could I forget my own name? I hope you step on a snake, you bastard. Get them, snakes and wolves. You're so eager to attack me, like attack the villagers. I'm Eliza. I'm Eliza. She what <laughs> It's hard to read this. Good north for the pass. Eh. Dan? Is that you? I don't see anything. What are you seeing, Dan? Dan? Where are you? Please help me. I don't want to be here. I'm scared. Huh? Monster! No. No. It, it can't be. <laughs> I, I'm a monster. How could this have happened? I remember. Here comes a twist that we all saw coming. The village. I mean, it's in the title. I mean, it's pretty obvious. The people who attacked me. I lived there. My home. Dad. There was someone at the door, while I was cooking. She was dressed oddly and said something to me. And then... I felt cold and lonely. Dark. I can't remember afterwards. What happened to me? I have to go back to the village to find answers. I need to know what happened to me. Hit up that save rock first.
So the question is, are we a werewolf? Or are we beast from Beauty and the Beast? Find the monster, don't let it escape. I need to sneak past them. Hopefully I'm at least immune to snakes. Gotta sneak past the villagers. Using my beast techniques. That one is staring straight out that way. I might be able to do something stupid here. Ow. No. Ha 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 Yeah, that's right. What are you gonna do about it? I'm a beast, what you gonna do? You're that guy who ambushed me outside the village, aren't you? You're, you always do that. You hide like you know where I'm going, but you make like a poor effort just to show like, Oh, nope. You're the guy right there. Uh, I'm helping, guys. Look, I'm chasing it. Now I'm gonna go back and eat some brownies. I'm here to pass them. The village is empty. They must still be in the forest. I need to find out what happened to me. Maybe this is my house? I mean, there is health here. The stuffed ammo is a gift to a friend. How did I know that? Maybe this is a friend's house then. It's a written letter about me. I have loved you since I first met you. But now since you've gone missing, I feel as though I've said my feelings too late to you. Though I wish you were still here, my heart will forever belong to you. A grave will be placed in your name and it will be held soon. I hope this letter reaches to you beyond a place where you can't return. Sincerely. He didn't write his name. This is the friend's house. Locked. Neil would come already. This doll, I used to have one. This book, the beast named Frey. I remember this book. It's a fairy tale about a beast wanting to become human. Once upon a time, there was a beast named Frey. He was an ugly beast with vicious claws and teeth. He lived in a forest alone and never went too close to the village, for he was scared of it. But one day, he met a lost girl. She cried and cried and cried, calling out for help. Frey was hiding behind a large tree, and the lost girl couldn't see him. She lost, the beast whispered to himself. The lost girl looked around frantically as she was hearing a beast's voice. Hello, she spoke softly. Is someone there? There's missing pages I can't read on. Eliza presumed to have walked out of her house and left the village as a runaway. Nikolao has offered a large sum of 1,200 bends in finding Eliza dead or alive. Last seen in the house cooking. Nikolao. Who is he? I broke for this window. I didn't mean to. That's one house down. Let's see if we can find mine. Locked. Locked. There was never one that was unlocked. I think it was this one down here. Oh, remember, this was my neighbor's house. This means mine is close. This one? Or this one? Monster. Get away from me. Someone is still here. Leave my house! My... House? I remember this place. I lived here. Find your memories. There are many letters on the floor. Dear Niccolo, I have found the person you're looking for. She's in the deep parts of the forest, dead. Her body is found inside a house, stabbed by a sword. Her hair has been cut to her shoulder, and there were signs of a struggle. I'm sorry for your loss, Arnald. Arnald has showed me a horror which I did not wish to see. 
I am deeply sorry for what has happened. I will seek your revenge in your name until one day I die. I wish you the best in the future's come, your friend Rainier. Condolences. It's rude me to speak quickly about a funeral, but I believe this is the right time to tell you. I have already prepared a grave, and a funeral will be held in two weeks' time. It's traditional to write a letter to the deceased as it will be buried with the coffin. I hope to see you there. Priest Tyru. Map of the forest. The flower has been here for a while. I think I put it here. I remember this kitchen. I was cooking here. And then... Here, I heard a knock. And then... I wonder if they knew I'm a beast. And they're just covering it up. I went here and answered it. There was a lady who was speaking oddly. Everything went dark. I can't remember what happened next. Only flower. Beast named Frey. I remember this book. Maybe this one has, yeah, more information. Once upon a time, there was a beast named Frey. He was an ugly beast with vicious claws and teeth. He lived in a forest alone and never went too close to the village, for he was scared of it. But one day he met a lost girl. She cried and cried and cried, calling out for help. Frey was hiding behind a large tree and the lost girl couldn't see him. She's lost, the beast whispered to himself. The lost girl looked around frantically as if she was hearing a beast's voice. Hello, she spoke softly. Is someone there? Frey walked out from behind the tree and said, Don't be afraid, I can help you. The lost girl suddenly stopped crying as for she was surprised to see a beast in front of her. Let me help you. Frey expanded his paw to her. Get away from me! The lost girl screamed and ran away. Frey was sad and angry as he couldn't help the lost girl. If I was human, I could have helped her. The beast's anger roared throughout the forest. My, my, my. How I right hear a sad little man wanting to become human. Who's there? The beast growled. Go deeper into the forest and you will find a potion that will turn you into human. But be warned, once you take it, there is a heavy price to pay. And deeper into the forest did Frey go. He found a potion just like the mysterious person said there would. Frey took a gulp of his potion and magically turned into a human. Thank you! Thank you! Frey's clear human voice echoed throughout the forest. There was no word from the mysterious person, only the sound of the trees rustle. I need to find the lost girl again. I can help her! He told himself. Frey started running towards where he last seen the girl and luckily he found her. Help me, help me! The lost girl cried. I'm lost. Do you know where my village is? Yes. Yes, I do. It's close by. Look at him being smooth in that little drawing. He's like, don't worry, I got this. Frey offered this, his hand, and the lost girl held his hand tightly. And as soon as Frey held the lost girl's hand, the wind started to blow ferociously. There was a heavy price to pay. <laughs> Frey didn't pay attention to the mysterious call as he was quickly falling in love with the lost girl. Three years later, the daughter Frey was born. Rose. That's her name. The lost girl Emily breathed heavily and said, Do you think it's wonderful? That's a beautiful name. Frey agreed. It was a heavy price to pay. Frey shook his head, getting the weird noises outside, out inside of him. He paid no attention to the friend until the baby Rose started growing hair all around her body. Hands started to become paws as scent was growing from her mouth. Sharp teeth grew until Rose suddenly became a monster. Frey stepped back and Rose growled at her parents. She quickly ran out the front door and went into the deep, dark forest. Emily, Emily, wake up! Frey panicked. Emily didn't wake up. Her hand was as cold as the ground. Her heart stopped beating. She was dead. The price has been paid! The price has been paid! Your wife has died and your daughter is now a beast just like you. You will forever be alone, just as you were when you were a beast. Frey cried with immense anger. You cursed me! I was never human to begin with. Why did you do this? I am bound to this forsaken forest for all eternity. Your daughter will be my vessel as I will escape from this wretched place. Frey was shocked. Please turn me back into a beast. I do not want to be human anymore. Take me. I will be your beast. 
I will be your vessel. But you are already a beast. Frey looked at his hands and with immense fear he roared in disbelief. You are a beast forever and a beast, and your daughter will be my vessel. <laughs> and Frey went into the forest to find his daughter, as he is forever, a beast named Frey. The end. I used to read this a lot when I was little. So are we the daughter? Are we uh, like a fervor descendant? This is my room. I slept here. My dress. It looks clean. I remember. My dad gave me this doll. What did he look like again? I can't remember. It's my bed. This is my dad's room. I can't remember his face. What was his name again? There's a lot of old clothes in here. There's my mother's clothes. Dad still kept his w this wedding dress. My mother wore this. A mirror. And I'm a monster. Interesting that gave me health. Like acknowledging my monster gave me health. Is there anything else in the kitchen, maybe? It's nothing from when I baked bread. I used his pantry a lot and cooked a lot. I cooked here. I was in the kitchen baking bread. But then, after that, I can't remember. Go upstairs. I remember this closet. It's full of my mother's things. I never saw her face. Her name was Annabelle. One memory left. Are you the memory? No, you're just evil. It's a letter. How I regret not spending enough of my time with you. I feel immensely grief over this loss, and I can't live forever on knowing that you are missing. It pains me to give up, but it has been a month since I last saw you. I fear the worst, but I know it has already happened. Please forgive me as I failed to be the person to guide you through your life. I hope the place in the other side will allow my words to come through. Sincerely, Nicolau. Nicolau. I can't remember. I remember. Nicolau. He's standing in front of me. Dan. Go away! You monster! Please, Dad, it's me. It's Eliza, your daughter. Help! Help! Get away from me! But we always speak in growls. Over here! Over here! Kill this monster! No. No, Dad! It's me! It's me! It's Eliza! Get the monster! No! Boy, the village isn't bad at catching me. There's the monster! Kill it! No, I'm not a monster! Monster! It's me! It's me! Go away! I'm Eliza! I'm sorry! I didn't want this to happen! I just wanted to find answers! I wanted to find who I was! I'm sorry! Never come back here again! I'm not a monster. I'm not a monster. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. I make a good football player, though. I only wanted to fight my memories. To fight what happened to me. I didn't ask to be a monster. And somehow I am. Please, turn me back into a human. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't want to be a monster. What do I do now? My, my, my. What is a young beast doing out here this deep in the for dark forest? Who's there? I had a vessel, just like you. Her name was Rose. Who are you? Come out! I am only but a friend who is trying to help you. I know who you are. You are the witch in the fairy tale book. My dear, my dear. You have mistaken me for someone else. I am only an angel who heard your prayer. 
I do not believe you. You are no angel. But my dear, an angel can do anything. Even turn you back into human. Turn me back into human? Of course, my frightened lit beast. There's a potion deep within this forest, you know the tale. Drink it, and you can be with your father again. Why are you helping me? Because she's perpetuating a cycle of getting vessels by making people into beasts. My dear little beast, I only want the best out of you. I'm here to help you. Don't you trust me? I do not, you witch. You should hurry along, Eliza. I can hear the footsteps of your friends coming this way. Tap, tap, tap. I'll never trust you. As you wish, my dear little frightened beast. I'll never trust her. One HP. I'll never trust her, but I'm gonna go deeper into the forest anyway. Just, you know, in case. She witch. My mentor has betrayed me. My sisters have perished. I've tried and tried to reason with her, but she refuses to listen. A world full of witches, I say. No humans, I say, but my mentor says no. My practices are dangerous. No human shall be monstrous, she says. The other witches face this problem, but I have found a weakness. A daughter that we have not heard of before. Eliza is her name. Annabelle, my mentor, will pay you for killing my sisters. I will enjoy this laugh as I make Eliza the daughter to Eliza the Beast. <laughs> I can't read this. It's written strangely. Ooh. So we're not connected to the original beast, but it is the same spell. A house. What's it doing in the middle of the forest? What do you think? No one is here. My dear, dear Eliza, you poor little frightened beast. How fragile you are. Let me help you. Someone is here, and she's been stabbed. That's it. Run along now, and discover your fate. My precious little new rose. <laughs> She's dead. There's a letter next to her. It's covered in blood. My dear Eliza, how I've missed you so much. I've seen you grown from a distance, and I'm sorry that I couldn't be there with you. Your father has taken care of you well. And I'm filled with extreme joy to see you grow up as a beautiful young lady. I have never told you or your father that I am a different person. If I had, I would have been treated as a monster. But at this point, it pains me to hold this secret for much longer. I am a witch. And I have done many things out of regret in my life. I have killed people, tortured and transformed them into monsters. Raised an army of witches to fight against humans and assassinated many kings of countries. Leveled down hundreds of men on horses and torn thousands of footmen in half. Never once did I dream of those in my thousand-year lifetime. I had a vision of a world with only witches, and so did my sisters. No humans are to be alive, they chant. I had trained them to do so. But for when you were born, my life changed. And I started to love this world that has hated me for as long as I can remember. My dear Eliza, you are not a witch. You are human. And for this reason, I have turned against my own sisters to protect you. But I have failed to do that. The she-witch has turned you into a beast. My body will not move any longer. In a few days from now, she will transform into a monstrous creature and I cannot help you. How powerless I am. And I feel immense grief to know that my daughter won't be the same anymore. Eliza, my dear. I bite my tongue in saying this to you. But there is no cure to this curse. I pray from the depths of hell that one will rise to you. And I will keep praying. Please forgive me as a mother, as I was never there for you. Love, Annabelle. This is my mother! I, I... Mother, I don't know what to do anymore. Can't read any of this. 
Can't read this writing. Let's see, she was. She's coming. She's coming. Animal, my mentor is coming. And I turned her down into a monster. <laughs> it's written oddly. No, 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 I can't. This cannot be. I cannot perish like this. My vessel. My rose. I cannot lose this body. A damn Annabelle. She's cursed me back in that wretched forest. I cannot go back to that prison ever again. This isn't written in human writing. I say we live with being a beast. You can't push, push God say the developer. Meow. Did you find your Bob? Drink the potion. No. I refuse. I will hunt you down, witch. That is my quest. My destiny. Or not. Is my destiny to fail? Alright, maybe the witch is the, the butterfly. Nope. Let me see if there's something I can find in here. Something I maybe missed. Can't read any of this. Empty. Color's unusual. Just look like you can drink this. Locked. It's long on the ground. Usual looking paper. I think I'm stuck. Damn you, railroading! Ah. I'm human again. There is a heavy price to pay. <laughs> Beast name Eliza. The end. Thanks for playing! So that's the beast name Eliza. Um, not a good ending. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't seem like the ending's badly written or anything, but, you know, it's not a good option. Uh, clearly. It's gonna repeat the cycle, and there's not much you can do about it. Um, it would've been nice if I could track down that, that witch, like, Wolverine style, and like... <laughs> but, you know... Eliza gets to be human, her daughter won't, though, and then Eliza will turn back to being Beast again someday, just like Frey. So, a temporary piece. But, yeah, um, kind of a little short, uh, polished uh, RPG Maker game. You kind of see its story coming a mile away, but I, I think that's kind of the point. That's why it's in the title. It's more of just trying to be like a little bit of a fairy tale thing where it's not only really like a big twist storyline. It's more like you know what's coming. You just can't prepare for the tragedy at the end. But yeah, I liked it. Anyway, so if you can all from what you play, the beast name Eliza. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.